The UK Independence Party has a new leader. Lord Pearson, a millionaire businessman and former Conservative peer, replaces Nigel Farage, who stood down to concentrate on trying to become an MP at the next general election. UKIP has never won a seat in the Commons, though it beat Labour into third place at the European elections in June. Gary O'Donoghue reports. And I therefore declare that Lord Pearson of Rannoch is duly elected as the new leader of the UK Independence Party. Hardly a household name, Lord Pearson is the only one of the five candidates for the job not to be an elected politician. He'll be the first leader of a national party to sit in the Lords since the early 1960s. He says UKIP's ambition is to force a hung parliament. Well, the pitch to the electorate is that you have been uh, lied to and misled by your three main parties in your political uh, class on many issues, uh, but particularly perhaps on our membership of the European Union for some 30 to 50 years. And that if you want to do anything about this, the only thing you can do now is to join UKIP. Nigel Farage has had plenty of success as leader. Now he's standing down to fight for a Westminster seat. In June's European elections, UKIP got more votes than Labour, taking 13 seats in the European Parliament. So who is the new leader? Lord Pearson made his money in international insurance. He was kicked out of the Tory party for backing votes for UKIP. He also hit the headlines for supporting Geert Wilders, the Dutch MP, and his campaign against militant Islam. Visit any town up and down Britain, and you'll see evidence of us lapping up European culture, like this German Christmas market on the south bank of the Thames. But when the pollsters ask people about their attitudes to the EU, appetites change. And UKIP believes they're the only party the public can trust to retain power at Westminster and not transfer it to Brussels. Well, I just feel that we should remain as Great Britain and that far too much money is going out of the country. We're handing up so much money over to Europe uh, yeah. and I think it should be spent here. Yeah. But come the election, will people actually vote for UKIP? UKIP's problem has been that the names on the tin, the United Kingdom Independence Party, which associates them with the European issue, and when it comes to Westminster, people tend not to regard them as a serious proposition. UKIP are toasting what they hope will be a bright future, but they also know that a breakthrough at Westminster will require a major change in public opinion. Gary O'Donoghue, BBC News.